be mad with this. Now, my white with a tiny, tiny touch of phthalo blue, look, a tiny, tiny touch. And let me have a look. I'm going to put that in. It's pretty much white, isn't it, up there? So I'm going to come down. And I'm putting just a kind of a thin layer on this now, okay? Now, when I come up to the top, I'm simply going to take some titanium white on its own and just put some of that across the back. Because even though the canvas is white already, it's still not pure white. So what I am going to do is just soften some titanium white onto the background up there just to give us that very bright colour on the canvas, okay? Now I come down this side, soften it in over here. And you can, of course, just leave your canvas pure white if you like. You don't have to put colour on. Um, as I said, it is just a very bright white background anyway. So you probably don't even need to do this. But look, I'm just going to put a very quick, very rough, quick coat of bright white just on the back of this. And it's kind of softening it in, you see? I'm softening the way up into the dry canvas above. And that's it. There we go. Done. I don't need to do any more. So I'm going to come down now with that very whitey blue. Touch of that whitey blue down here. And it's almost pretty much that colour all the way around, isn't it? So I'm going to take some of that colour. Just dab a touch of thinners on your brush. Any big large brush will do fine, by the way. Some white and a little touch again of phthalo blue. And again, it's just really the tiniest little touch. I'm just going to go in between these little ripples. Like that. Don't be shy with your paint. I'll put plenty of paint on. Now that's too much, so I'll give that a rub on some tissue. Just take some of that off. A bit more white. And I'll come in around this one here. And you can see something as flat as possible. All right. So we have a nice sharp edge. Dampen that. And let's take some phthalo blue. And looking at that colour on the reference photograph, I'm going to do these little dark blue lines. You see those? I'm thinking cerulean and phthalo. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, now correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to start just putting in some of that colour and it's going to kind of fade out as it goes around, okay? I'm going to come right across. Now, don't worry if these aren't perfect. They don't have to be perfect altogether. Really. Look, it's a painting and I want it to be like such. I know I was saying kind of earlier that I want to try and get a nice realistic painting out of this but when i say realistic i mean a very almost a photographic kind of a painting you know it's not a perfect painting by any means it's not going to be a perfect photograph but a nice impression of a realistic reflection with oil painting i think that's probably the key for me so i'm going to just start thin and then push down slightly you see so that's the trick I'm using with this. So I'm going to, again, I'll start thin and then I'll push down as it comes across in front of us, you see? Like that. So it's almost going off and disappearing. Does that make sense? This one up here as well is going to disappear. And I want an imaginary a line, make an imaginary line. They're very faint, but you can still kind of see them. You know they're there. And I'll double this one, make this a nice one together. Like that. All right, there we go. And I'm doing most of this now with this kind of large flat brush. Okay, next I'm going to start putting in some of the very rich, dark, greeny, blacky colours. And I'm thinking I might need to change brushes for this. Um, I'll go with this one here. Okay, it's a slightly smaller flat brush. I'm going to go with Thalo Blue. Some black, and I'll take some cadmium yellow. So again, now I'm going really blacky kind of a green, okay? 
and a touch of thinners as well. Now let's see how this works. So I'm going to, you see this reflection over here, this piece that comes out, this very dark section. I'm going to start with that. And you can almost see the difference now between the dry canvas that I use here and the one that I put the linseed oil on. It just has a nicer flow. You see the way this is very kind of dry and it soaks in the paint. So that's why I put the linseed oil on the canvas the first time to prevent just this. But I mean, look, this is only a small area, so I don't mind if it's slightly on the dry side. We can just put on plenty of paint. Okay. Now. So we have that dark now coming in there. And remember, to get a realistic kind of an impression of something, always make your darks very, very dark and make your lights very, very light. And that will give you a really kind of almost a photographic um, appearance. Now I'm just checking to make sure I'm in the right place with all of this. Um, okay, I'm going to put one here like that and I'm going to put another one out here like that so you can see now I'm just working on getting the shapes right we can fill in all the details later and you know get the fine brush and put all the lovely edges around it and all that kind of thing don't worry about that I'm just concentrating on getting the shapes just right for now. I'm going to put some black and blue in here. Look, just to get that nice. And there uh, comes up to here. Then it stops and turns, doesn't it? But look, we're okay for now. Now some black, lots of cadmium yellow, and phthalo blue. And don't worry about the bright kind of greeny colours. We're going to get those in later. All right. I just want to get all these rich darks in at the moment. So more cadmium yellow. So we have one, two, and then we're coming to our next one out here. And then I think I'm going to start going to a smaller brush from here on. Just for a couple, okay? Just for a few of them. Nice little small flat brush. Get that clean. Let's go into some cadmium yellow, phthalo blue. I'm going to put some nice bright white just around. very bright areas so I basically now want to just start softening some white into these and when you see this jumping to life is when I start putting in the little black lines around all of these you know at the moment it's looking very sort of just kind of flat and almost lifeless but when I start putting in some dark lines around these believe me you will see it almost just come to life on the canvas in front of your eyes it's brilliant the way the very strong darks really do bring something out okay so just bear with me I'm almost ready now for these nice bright highlights and nice rich darks. Again, some white. I want to soften some white into this one here. And perhaps soften this back a little. So you can see now, it's kind of, you know, it's slowly coming together, isn't it? Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is take some of that rich blue and I want to pop 
some rich dark it's almost like a dark greeny blue just in here they're little the way the lights are subtle they're kind of catching some of the darks and the shadows aren't they some of the, the very dark and the bluey colors i'm going to get some more rich blue and i'm going to put some rich blue in here you see And it's look it's simply just a case of looking closely at the photograph and seeing where those colors are okay where you need to put them don't be afraid it's just paint okay it won't hurt you at all so i have another nice little one coming through here and it comes down on an angle you see all these little things will make a difference And we have another nice one, um, kind of cuts across the front of that. Okay. Now, there also is one more I need to do, and that is just up here. There's a little one coming on. Little pointy brush here. I'm going to get some black, pure, neat black. All right. Now I know you're thinking we're not getting far. It's not much progress, but this is the important stage. Getting this kind of stuff right sets the tone for the rest of the painting. You see. So, for example, now I'm going to go around this one here with some very sharp black lines okay you see that i'm simply just tracing going around i'm putting rich black thin paint around these now i will be kind of softening it in here and there but generally, at the ends, I'm going to make it slightly longer, okay? Now, it's starting to very slowly come to life. I'm just refining this side over here with some black. And then it kind of turns... It goes up here, doesn't it? It stops and it kind of comes out. And it's even a hint of a green in that one. A very blacky green, isn't it? So we make a dark green for that. And it swoops across into the painting. A very good tip as well if you're painting something like this at home, all right, is to use a sheet of MDF board because that will give you a very smooth finish. It'll give you like a glass mirror finish. And especially for painting like this, it's perfect. MDF is something that I use a lot over time. Um, I must start using it again, actually, because I do miss using it. But yes, it gives you beautiful, sharp, crisp lines using MDF. Now, some sailor blue and some black. Make that nice and watery. It has to be nice and watery to flow properly off of your brush, you see. And let's go up here and give it another little whirl. And then this one, the same. So it's slowly right, coming together. They do get quite bright just as they come out, don't they? And then what I'm going to do is take my pointy brush again, give it a good clean. I want to get some white and I'm simply 
going to go around some of these with some white look, softening it into the blue. Like that. And look, there's no particular reason for this. It's just I'm looking at the photograph and I can see these little light patches here and there. So I'm just going to put them in. I'm simply copying the photograph, that's all. Copy what you see. And that's what I say to people. Just copy what you see. Clean your brush every now and then as well. That does help. Keep it all nice and bright. Um, now some more white. I'm going to come down around here. Uh, let me see. No, let me see. I'm going to take some of that white, pop it in there. So you can see the way it just kind of picks up the lights here and there, you see? You see that? It kind of picks them up a little bit. Now I need to get some nice bright blue. I'm going to take some white and some phthalo blue and some cerulean. I'm going to mix a nice bright colour and I want to put some of that nice thick paint now for this, okay? I'm going to put some of that um, across here. Just like that. So you can see now what I'm doing, I'm kind of alternating between colours. And it's basically, again, looking at the photograph, seeing where those darks are, where those lights, and go from there, basically. Okay. Then I'm coming over to this side. Again, a nice rich green, plenty of turpentine, don't be shy with your turpentine. And I'm going to go, you can see there's a little hint of green around there and there as well. There's a little hint of it. I'm going to go like that. And I'll actually brighten it a bit. I do hope you're enjoying this now. It's just, an, it's a nice, I, I would say it's an easy enough study for someone to follow. Um, okay, you might find it a little tricky. But do just try and simplify it, honestly. It will pay a dividend to you if you could just try to simplify it. You see, I'm just putting little touches of it here and there. Like that. Now I know at the moment all of this is looking very blacky to you on camera. I can see it on camera. I know it's looking very dark and blacky and all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to just brighten the greens just a little. And it's only for you really at home so you can see properly. The green is actually a kind of a bluey green. It's a cold, cold green. But I will just lighten it ever so slightly just to give you the opportunity to see the colours properly. All right.
Let's just get the bulk of the leaf painted for now. And really, I want to take my time with the leaf because for me, the leaf is what will really bring this to life. I need to take my time with it. I don't want to be rushing it, you know what I mean? I think if we just take our time doing this leaf, it will it'll all just be worth it. All of this work that we just did will all be worth it, won't it? Okay, I'm going to go to a nice bright green up here. Then I'm going to switch brushes, pick up a nice small brush and go for some nice rich green and when i'm painting detail along the edges like this i'm thinning the paint okay i'm thinning it a lot Okay, just yeah. scrape it in like that. Sharp enough along that edge. And let that just kind of disappear down. So you see we have sort of alternate colours throughout, don't we? Now I do really want to put a very, very dark, blacky, bluey colour just down underneath that leaf in here. That's better now. Now we're talking. I should really invest in a very fine brush. I need to get some because these brushes are kind of slightly worn. They sort of lost their, their tip, if you know what I mean. I'm just putting in a suggestion of some veins on the leaf just here and there. Okay, I think it's starting to come together slightly, isn't it? Slowly, I know, admittedly, very slowly, but I think we are starting to get there. Now, I'm going to start popping some brighter colour into the leaf just up here, okay? I know there's a much bigger curve on this leaf, isn't there? So I just want to create some hues in the leaf itself. So some lights, some darks. So it's not just a matte flat color. Do you understand what I mean? So for instance, I'm going to take some slightly brighter colors and then some slightly darker colors. And you can see I'm going with the direction of the leaf. You see? So let's imagine, for instance, 
this area down here may be slightly darker where it's sort of cups ever so slightly Not like that And you can see it's simply sort of just wiggling the brush ever so gently. I don't want to kind of uh, make these far too thick. So you could really by right just leave the painting dry and then do some of these. Um, but look, as I've this much done now, I might as well keep going, isn't that right? And I'll come back in part two and just do a little bit of tidying up, I think. Um, especially with the reflection. I think the reflection needs a little tidying up, doesn't it? Because I know I can do better than that. And, you know, look, I'm not bragging, but I know that if I just spend a little more time on the reflection... I could do something really, really good with this. Now, I'm going to stop at that and put in some darks. I can see some very rich darks in there. So, a very dark green. Besides some of those, most of them, in fact, you can see a little dark Shadow, can't you? So let's just put it in. Very subtle. Okay, my friends, I'm going to stop at that. I'll be right back with part two. Um, thank you. I know it's been a laborious process so far, um, but look, I'll be right back and we'll see if we can create something really nice out of this. Just a little bit of work on the reflections. Um, so yeah, I'm happy not so far. Um, one more thing. You see, I'm forgetting things already. One more little thing. Reflection. 